Hey guys, welcome to Those Your Keys Times 3. My name is Kenisa. So this weekend we are going on a day trip. We are going to Charlotte, North Carolina to go to the Pet Expo. So I wanted to make a video to show you guys everything that I take when I take the dogs out on a fun day trip. Alright, so this is a bag that I carry. It does seem like a really big bag, but please be mindful I have three dogs. So I do have to pack three times as much as you would for one. Um, so I did get this little canvas bag from Lola's um, Dog Treats, which is a local dog treat vendor in my area. I love her treats. We always go to the farmer's market and get her treats for the dogs. They love them. Okay, so I'm going to take this bag. And the first thing that I see are dog wipes. It's so important to always have wipes. I carry wipes everywhere I go. I also have a pack in my car. And I also keep a pack in the stroller. Just so I'm never like looking for wipes, so I'm never short on wipes. So that's the first thing we have. Next thing I make sure to take are toys. I always like to take fun and interesting toys that they'll like. So if I zip them up into the stroller, they'll each have a toy to play with. So they won't get bored. And on the ride down, because it's a few hours away, they will have toys to play with on the ride. And of course, the next thing that I make sure to pack are their leashes always keep these in case they have to go to the bathroom in case they want to walk i'm sure they won't want to be in the stroller the whole time the expo is from 10 a 10 a.m to 6 p.m so i'm sure they're going to get down and do some walking during that time and then ride and walk you know and the next thing that i always make sure to pack are doggy bags whenever you take your dog out please have doggy bags it's important to clean up after your dog so i always make sure i have doggy bags and I also have a spare pack in the stroller just in case i run out i don't I'm not sure how many I have. I always just keep an extra roll in the stroller. And that's another thing that I'm taking that I'm not going to show in this video is the stroller, of course. Um, so they can ride in. And then, because I don't know, I've never been to a pet expo. This is our first expo. So we're really excited, but I'm not sure what to expect. I'm not sure how many dogs are going to be there, how big the dogs are going to be. So I definitely want to have something to where if I want to close them up so dogs aren't walking up on them, I can do so. Next thing I always make sure to pack are a plethora of dog treats. You just never know how hungry they're going to get, if I'm going to need their attention, if I'm going to need them to do something. So I like to have good and tempting treats on hand. And plus, you know, it's nice to have a snack. Oh, and another thing that I am going to pack um, on this trip are their bark collars. Um, Marley and Zoe do really good with people, but when they see other dogs, they tend to... <clears throat> when they see other dogs they tend to bark a lot so I don't want them to disturb the whole expo because they're barking at every single dog they see so I'm definitely going to make sure I have their bark collars on hand just to update with the bark collars <clears throat> I don't really put them on them that much um, just sometimes when we go out I'll put it on but a lot of the time if they just see me holding it or they see that it's around it'll stop them dead in their tracks so they're going to bark and they see me grab the bark collar they're like nah bruh you good and they'll just let them go by so i'm definitely going to make sure that i have those on hand and if a visible warning doesn't work for an instance because it's going to be so many dogs there i'll go ahead and put it on them so we'll definitely have those for marley and zoe the next thing that i make sure to have when i take my dogs across any state lines are their pet records i ensure that i keep these on hand at all times because you just never know what could happen and I also make sure to look up the nearest vet in that city so because we're going to Charlotte I have already looked up different banfields in that area in case there is an emergency I know where I need to go and so I can have this as well even though with banfield <clears throat> one of the things that I like is wherever you travel if there's a banfield in the area they already have your pet's information so I do love that about them so I don't necessarily have to carry this because if I go to a banfield they'll be able to pull Marley Zoe and Bailey up but if I get there and let's say that the Banfield closes early, because at PetSmart, I think their Banfield, I, I think the one in Charlotte closes about 7. So if I have an issue at 7.30, I may have to find an emergency vet, which I already looked up and I know of one in the area of Charlotte. I want to have this for the vet so they'll know everything that's going on with my dog, everything that's been done. They'll be able to see their vaccine records and everything that they need to know. That's why it's so important to always have your pet records on hand. Whenever you're crossing state lines, like if you're just going to another state, I mean another city, it's not that crucial. But whenever you're crossing state lines, I would have this. Another thing that I always pack for my pups, of course, is water. Um, this may sound a little bougie, 
but my dogs only drink filtered water so i don't like to let them drink i'm sure they'll have those little water fountains for the dogs or like water bowls but i like my dogs to only have filtered waters and it's marley especially because he has such a sensitive stomach any disrupt in his normal diet he'll throw up he'll get sick so i always make sure i fill this up all if i fill this all the way up it'll last them for the whole day they'll be fine with that and then it's just easy for me to just wherever we're at i can just squeeze a little bit out let them drink dump whatever they don't drink and just put it back up so this is a great buy if you don't have a water bottle like this i would definitely recommend this i got it from pet smart for about ten dollars so all right guys so another thing that i always make sure to pack is clothes for the dogs these aren't necessarily the clothes that i'm taking but i definitely make sure to pack clothes for them because you never know the temperature inside of the building and my bailey she gets the shivers really quick if she's cold she will shake so i like to take these just in case just in case the weather changes up but i do think for this weekend i want them to look really cute so the girls will probably have on bows and dresses and riley will have on a really cute shirt but i always just pack clothes because you just never know what you might need and the final thing that I always make sure to keep on hand is, of course, a first aid kit. I always keep a first aid kit for dogs in my car um, because you just never know what can happen. I keep one in my car in my home. So I'll definitely keep this um, probably on my person when we go into there. I have a really good storage compartment underneath the stroller um, that I'll probably put this in just to make sure if my dogs have an emergency or any other dogs have an emergency, I have something on hand that could possibly help. Alright guys, so that's everything that I normally take when we go on just a short little day trip. Um, if you take different things or if you have suggestions, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. I would definitely like to thank you for watching those Jerkies times 3. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with your friends. Bye guys. Keep in mind that your dog feeds off of your energy and it can be very stressful for them to be left home alone. So you want to make sure that you ease them into it and you just keep a positive attitude because they'll be able to pick up from that and know, okay, this is okay. It's not a bad thing.